Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Hunting SC. My name is Vinny. Today I'm out here today scouting public land, looking for some deer sign. We're about uh, three weeks out from our bow season here in South Carolina. I'm out here doing some scouting today in public land. Um, I've been in this spot before. I put a camera out about uh, three weeks ago and I'm walking in now to uh, check that camera to see if we got any bucks on it from the last three weeks. So I figured I'd make a video show you guys that, see if we have any deer on it, and also do a, a few quick tips on what I personally look for um, as far as deer sign goes and feeding uh, trees go, and what I look for in early season bow hunting on public land. So if you guys wanna see some quick uh, hot tips, y'all follow along. So first thing as I'm walking in to any public land, the first thing I look for is water. Um, there's three things that deer need to survive and if you're hunting an area that don't have those three things you're probably not going to find deer so the first one is water as you can see i'm standing in a creek here uh creek is a great source of water it's constantly flowing it keeps uh cold water flowing through it um the second thing you want to look for is food and the third thing you want to look for is bedding cover if there's not those three things around there's a good chance you're not going to find deer especially on public land so as I'm walking into the public land and I'm walking in on the river, I try to stay close to the water, keep my scent low. Scent travels down, kind of like fog, so I keep it low in the creek. Um, so obviously there's some deer tracks. That's something to look for on, um, on creeks or around water edges, there's deer tracks. Um, I don't really care about small tracks. What I'm looking for is big tracks, like right here. I consider this a large track, possibly a buck track. See how big it is? I can fit three fingers in it. That shows me that it's probably a, a larger mature buck or at least a one and a half to two year old buck. Um, and also the deeper, the deeper the track is, the heavier the deer are. So small deer ain't gonna leave deep tracks like these are. So that shows me that that's definitely a buck. You can see the size of it, about three fingers. So that's a buck. That's a good thing you wanna look for. I mean, obviously right here, you have a smaller deer, which is probably a doe. You can fit about two fingers in it. So that's how you know what kind of deer these tracks belong to. All right, guys, when I'm on public land, another thing I look for, and I'm talking quiet because I don't want to be spooking all these deer that are probably around me. But um, another thing you want to look for is blowdowns. You can see right there behind me, there's a blowdown. Uh, bucks and other deer like to bed around that stuff. So I'm going to go there and check it out see if I find any beds. Quick tip, when you're walking through the woods, carry a stick with you. And knock over all these uh, spider webs. There's a huge banana spider right there. I must just walked into him head first. So carry a stick with you, knock him out of the way. So this spot here looks amazing. If I was a deer, I'd be bedding in this. But I'm not seeing any bedding at the moment. I like to look for fresh beds and I like to look for um, any rubs or scrapes or deer poop. If you do find a bedding area, just to prove that there is a deer bedding there. I'm not seeing that here, so we're gonna move on. All right, guys, so I'm walking down this creek further and right there's a boot track. It looks pretty fresh. We haven't had rain in a few days, but um, definitely the boot track on this creek. That's something you'll run into on public land. Other hunters are gonna be everywhere, so I don't let that get me down. Um, when you see boot tracks, who cares? Find you a spot. Um, public land shared with other people. So find you a secluded spot or an overlooked spot that they might not go to. Right beside is boot track. A nice buck track. Like I said earlier, this one would probably be a fawn or a small doe. And you can see maybe two fingers. You have this guy. There's two fingers, three fingers. So that's just to me, that's probably a big buck. 
and I'll walk farther up. All right, so I'm back here. Not finding any beds at the moment. They can be hard to find, especially on large tracts of public land. Don't let it get you down. Um, one thing you can hunt if you don't find a bed is a creek crossing. Like I said, stay around water. If you find a good creek crossing, you probably set up a stand there and you might see some deer. So here's the creek crossing. You can see the fresh deer tracks. It's worn out right there like a highway. They're going up into that flat oaks up there. And on the other side, see some fresh tracks all going to the creek crossing right there. So the other side is some oaks. So on public land, you'll find a lot of patches of oaks. And it's hard to find that specific oak um, to set up on that they're feeding on. So if you see a heavy trail uh, or a creek crossing, you can set up on that and be fine. All right, y'all, so a little update. About 20 minutes later, I'm in here where I have my camera set up. I'm in a real thick area. It's kind of a bottom lamb spot uh, where the creek used to overrun. Um, it's all dried up now, but I'm assuming in the winter it'll be flooded in here. Uh, but here's what I'm looking at. Real thick. The thing about this spot and early season, you really want to try and find a food source you can set up in the evening. So when I was in here three weeks ago, I found a persimmon tree that was dropping pretty good uh, early. And there was some tracks in there. So that's where I put my camera. So I'm headed there now, I'm about five minutes away. Once I get there, we'll see what we got on camera. I keep talking about my camera, um, which I shouldn't because I don't even know if the camera's still there. Uh, public land, you have a good chance of it getting stolen. So, let's find out. All right, y'all, so we're in my spot. I got my camera. As you can see, nice deer trail right here. Fresh buck sign and doe sign. And there's a persimmon tree. Let me see if I see a persimmon. There we go. That's a persimmon, ripe. It's dropping, and just so you guys know uh, what a persimmon tree looks like, it looks like this. That's a persimmon tree, real dark bark and weird shaped edges, as you can tell. And it's dropping fruit up there. But lucky for me, my camera is still here. I put a lock on it just now. Um, the camera was tilted down when I got in here. Um, so I'm not sure if somebody came in here and messed with it. The camera was, camera was moved. Um, so let's check to see if my SD card's still in here. Yeah, which it is, great. SD card's in there. So we're gonna get home and check what's on it. I got a new card I'm putting into my camera right now. And I also got me a lock. I got me a regular lock and key and then a, um, a chain lock that goes onto the uh, camera and the tree to keep it in place. So yeah, lock your cameras up. Find you a spot that's dropping persimmons. Like that. Put your camera up. And if you have deer on it, that's probably a good spot to set up in the fall. Here's my camera set up for public land. Get your camera, lock it in. Make sure you don't cover up the lens sensor like I did. Locked in with a, um, a bike lock and a boat lock tied into the to the uh, bike lock, then into the back of the camera. 
but nobody can take this they say come in with bolt cutters it's a quick tip if you don't want to get your stuff stolen on public land all right guys i pushed in a little bit farther <clears throat> i pushed in a little bit farther than i should have um back here in the bedding area now just want to show you guys what a bed looks like <clears throat> For the folks out there who don't know what a deer bed looks like, this is it. You can see the clumpy grass is tall and stuff around here. And then this area between these two trees, it's all matted down and flat. That's because a deer has been laying there. A fairly large deer or multiple deer been sitting right there. That's a deer bed. Just so y'all know. All right, folks. So I made it back home from my trip on public land. Got my card in the computer here. We're going to check and see what we got on camera. Um, and please don't ask me where this game zone is I'm hunting or what property it is. I hunt all four game zones in South Carolina. Numerous properties and very large properties. Um, this one I showed you here today is on a large property. Uh, multiple thousand acres that's about all i'll say just gotta do your time do your scouting and find the deer so let's get started see what's on camera okay so here's the 19th that's the first day that i put the uh camera out i go back here i put my camera out on the 19th at four o'clock p.m when i walked out from putting my camera out and literally the same day the 19th at uh, 6.37, so two and a half hours later, two does and a fawn came walking in, eating the persimmons. They could care less about my scent. Uh, I'm not a huge believer in uh, scent control, and say what you want, but these deer are already coming in the same trail I walked in and the same trail I walked out and hung the same camera two and a half hours later. So let's see what else we got on cam. So the 20th, which is the next day, same fawn and same uh, doe were in there feeding. And they feed for a while. And there's a buck right there uh, the next day on the 20th. Looks to be a, uh, a six pointer. Hitting the persimmons. On. So literally when within an hour, is that six point again? Within two and a half hours, deer were already in there and the next day they were in there heavy throughout the day. Some coons, coons love persimmons too. Here's a six point, I better look at them. Looks like he's just starting to split right there and starting to uh, shed his velvet. But right now he's still holding on. Been scrolling through. There's probably about 300 pictures on here, so I'm not showing you all of them. Same six point. He this six point shows up. Every, it might be a five point actually. He's missing a he's missing a uh, ton right there. So five point. He's in full velvet. Still holding on. on the 25th. Here's a nice close-up of that six-point in velvet. Still in velvet on the 30th. Still holding on. No shooters yet. Got about 100 picks left to go through. So we'll see. All right, so the last few picks on here, and a kind of a decent buck shows up. On the 31st, 618 this morning. I went today on the 31st this afternoon to check it. But yeah, that's the biggest buck I got on camera so far. So, looks like a seven pointer. If he shows up on uh, opening day, he might get swacked. Just depends on how I'm feeling that day. But yeah, thanks for following along with me guys and uh, seeing what pictures I had on public land. It's always fun to see what kind of deer show up. But that's the biggest one so far. So I'll keep the camera out. I'll be heading in there in about two and a half weeks with a bow in hand.
So we'll see what shows up. Might smack this little uh, seven point or um, I'm a sure do. So y'all subscribe to my channel to follow along. Thank y'all.